Hello students, let us start associative law of sets. What is meant by associative law? Let us consider here three sets. What is that? A, B, C, right? So if you take A union with B union C, it's nothing but A union B. Then you can take the inter union with the C set, right? Also, uh, what is the second associative law? A intersection with the B intersection C is nothing but A intersection C with an intersection with the C set, right? So let us see what is meant by associative laws and let us see how to prove and let us see some examples. Yeah, let us see how to prove the associative law for the first law. Okay, so for this we need to consider three sets. For any three sets A, B, C, we can say that what is the first law we have learned? A union B union C is nothing but A union B. We need to take union with C. So how to prove? As usually we will be proving the same model. So first of all what we can say? Let us consider the uh, one element x from the left hand side this is our left hand side that is a union b union c right so what is the meaning of this either x element can belongs to set a or x element can be belongs to the set a union c so this one if and only if statement why because either sides are true right so we can say that x belongs to a or this one actually i can write it as x element can belongs to b or x element can be in set c right so what I will do simply they are telling that X is in A or X is in B or X is in C simply I will change the bracket this two brackets right so X belongs to A or X belongs to B I will take first or I can take X belongs to C so here no meaning is changing agree what is the meaning of this this first thing if I take it here X belongs to A X belongs to B what is the meaning of this X belongs to A union with B set or the this is nothing but X belongs to C set right so now what I need to do, this is our first set, this is our second set. If same element belongs to A union B or A, X belongs to C, we can say that X belongs to A union B union with C, right? One element belongs to this set and the same element belongs to this set. From this what I can say, I can say that A union B union C is subset of A union B union with C, right? From this what we can say, we can with the help of the if and only if statement, we can say that A union B union with the C is subset of first set that is A union, this is the first set right, B union C right. With the help of equality of sets, I can say that therefore if one set is contained in B set and B set is also contained in A set, I can say that A must be equals to B. This is the equality of sets I will be using in this case, right? From this I can say A union B union C is equals to A union B union with C. So this is the associative law. Agree? So now let us see some example which where we can uh, use this set, okay? So what is, the, what is the first associative law here? A union with B union C is nothing but A union B. I need to take a then union with C, right? So to prove this, let me take A set. Let us take A set as 1, 2. Let us consider B set as AB. Uh, AC, okay, let us take AB only. Uh, so let us consider C set as PQ, okay? Hmm. So we need to prove this. What? Uh, first of all, what is the left hand side? Let us take a left hand side. That is A union with B union C means I need to take what is A 1 comma 2 union with what is B set A comma B union with this is P comma Q actually we are having a bracket so let me take the bracket here is it okay hmm. so from this what I can say this is nothing but 1 comma 2 union with how, what is the union of A comma B union with P comma Q this is nothing but A comma B comma P comma Q agree then we need to take what union of all the things that is 1 2 A B PQ. Any doubts up to here? Agree? This is take it as a equation number one. So now let us consider the right hand side. What is there in our right hand side? A union. This one, right? Let me write it down. A union B with union C. What is the meaning here? We need to take a set A. First, we need to take a union with B set. What is our B set? A comma B, right? So let us use some bracket here. Then we need to use with union with C. What is C here? That is P comma Q, right? Hmm. So from this what I can say union means I need to take 1, 2, A, B. Then I need to perform union with P, Q. What is the meaning of this? We need to take union of each and everything which is 1, 2, A, B, P, Q. Agree? If you notice here equation 1, 
means the set which is in the equation 1 the set which is in the equation 2 you can see each and every element is same one is there here here also two yes it is what about a b yes it is and if you check for pq this is also there from this what i can say these two sets are equal which means that lh is equals to rhs so i can say that lh is equals to rhs which means that what this is what i need to prove hence proved is it okay any doubts on this yeah so now let us see what is the second associative law so what is the second associative law for any two see for this also we need to consider three sets right so for any three sets let us consider a b c huh, what is the formula here a intersection with b intersection c is nothing but a intersection b then intersection with c so let us see how to prove this right hmm. as usually let us consider one element x from the left hand side that is what a intersection with b intersection c so in this case this is our first set this is our second set what is the intersection represents that element can be belongs to first set intersection represents and right and x belongs to second set that is b intersection c so this is if and only if statement why because both are in if i go from left to right it will satisfy if i go from right to left also it will satisfy right hmm. so let us continue so this is nothing but x belongs to a and this is what this is the second set i can actually open the bracket i can write it as intersection means x belongs to b and x belongs to c set right so what we are having we are hewing the brackets so let us change the brackets so this means what i can take x belongs to a and x belongs to b then i can write it as a x belongs to c why because there is no change between the changing the brackets agree so if you can ask me uh, why ma'am there is no change means so if i take 2 into 3 into 4 is same as what 2 into 3 into 4 here into means the symbol plays a very crucial role okay so or you can take 2 plus 3 plus 4 is same as what 2 plus 3 plus 4 agree here in the case uh, inside and outside if you have a plus or inside and outside if you have a multiplication it will work if you have a different signs it won't work okay so here also i am having an and and so it is not at all affecting us so i can change the bracket agree now let us continue what is the meaning of x intersection sorry x belongs to a and x belongs to b which is nothing but x belongs to a intersection b and i can say that x belongs to what c so which means what is this this is nothing but x belongs to a intersection b with the intersection c from this what i can say x belongs to let us say this is our first set and x belongs to this set from this what i can say i can say that one is a subset of the other agree i can say that a intersection with b intersection c is subset of the second what is that a intersection b intersection with the c with the help of a if and only if statement i can go from back back means a intersection b intersection c is also subset of this set what is that a intersection b intersection c right with the help of equality of these things i can say that a intersection b intersection c is nothing but uh, a intersection with the b intersection c right agree i'm so sorry there is no sufficient place right so this is what i want to prove any doubts up to here so this is what how to prove the associative law so for your better understanding let me give you one example okay so now let us consider what we need to prove first of all try to write the property or the law then you will understand easily we need to prove a intersection b intersection c is nothing but a intersection with b intersection with c right so simply let us consider few examples a set is nothing but let us take one two let us start with b as two three and let us start with the c as three four agree if you have any doubts you can mention in the chat box i'll clear your doubts okay hmm. so for proving sake let us consider left hand side separately right hand side separately what is left hand side a intersection with the b intersection c what is the meaning here a set which is one comma two i need to make an intersection with so let us take the bracket here what is b set two comma three intersection with three comma four agree yeah so which is nothing but what this is one two intersection with what is the right side what is meant by intersection we need to take a common element if i can notice here three is a common element let us take the three here agree mm. so from this what i can say is there any common element between these two sets no so this is nothing but phi alone agree let us consider the right hand side what is right hand side 
A intersection with B intersection with C. What is A? A is uh, 1 comma 2 I have taken. Intersection with B is 2 comma 3. First I need to make an intersection of this two. Then with that I need to make an intersection of the third set that is C. Okay. Hmm. What is the intersection of these two sets? 2 is the intersection element if you can notice here. Right. So which I can say it as a 2 is the intersection element. Intersection with I need to take 3 comma 4. Is there any common element? Intersection element? No. So this is nothing but 5. So from this what I can say? I can say that left hand side is equals to what? right hand side agree so which means that this is also true for this right any doubts up to here okay then thank you